everyone that the activity I'll be, introduced to, I'll be introducing today is actually called Berry 3D Shapes. This activity is a text-free activity with sound cues in which partially obscured polyhedra must be matched to the colored rotating models at the base of the console over here. The activity is intended to test visual perception skills and to support other work within shape recognition sessions, which means children with um, difficulties visualizing and differentiating 3D, uh, 3D images can actually make use of this activity to work on their skill, their visualization skills. So very simply, to download this activity, just have to press very 3D shapes over here. Just have to follow the instructions, and after that, we'll get this. Shape game application, open it, run the application, and here we have just this. Uh, I'm just going to show a snippet of this activity. Okay, um, children are supposed to match the shapes with the lines below, so part of the shapes actually covered by the sand just as the name goes, buried in this um, buried and the sand. So this actually increases the difficulty um, for the child to actually differentiate and visualize which shape it is actually. So this one, let me just do this for a little while. Notice the sizes of the shape over here first. Now we're moving on, we're moving on to the second session. Actually, for um, sessions in this one activity, if you have noticed, the sizes of the shapes just now and the positions of it have actually been changed. This way, children will actually be able to know that actually, no matter how different this, the um, shapes are in terms of size, in terms of height, they actually have the same category and let's say a sphere of a smaller size and a bigger size both of them are still called sphere so um, and the shapes seen are actually um, vary too because different parts of the shape is covered so this too increases the difficulty for the child it also uh, enables the child to, able to be able to recognize the shape um, just by looking at one part of it after a while. So, this program, this activity is also self correcting. Let's say this is a cylinder. Let's say if I think it's a cuboid. Let's say if the child thinks it's a cuboid and clicks cuboid, it actually shows that it's a mistake here. So, the child will have the chance to keep trying. So he gets the correct answer. So this is actually very good because ch um, the child will be able to learn on its own and at the same time actually able to learn at his own pace. I've completed two sessions. Why don't you try it?